sight of the river. As he rumbled over the bridge, he would see people But his driver said, no. What would the fat controller say if we were late? Another engine, he would say, I want to fish. But they all had the same answer. Engines don't go fishing. Silly sticky remotes, thought Thomas. Bother, said Thomas. I'm thirsty. Never mind, said his driver. We'll get some water from... tank as quickly as they could, several times over. Thomas in front and behind. Danger! Keep away! Soon the inspector and the fat controller arrived. Cheer up, Thomas, they said. We'll soon put you right. The driver told them what had happened. Though the feed pipe is blocked, said the inspector. I'll just look in the tanks. He climbed up and peered in. Then he came down. Excuse me, sir. Please look in the tank and tell me what you see. Certainly, Inspector, replied the fat controller. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. Inspector, he whispered, can you see fish? Gracious goodness me, how did the fish get there, driver? We must have fished them from the river with our buckets, replied Thomas's driver. Well, Thomas, so you and your driver have been fishing, but fish don't suit you. We must get them out. They all took turns at fishing in Thomas's tank, while the fat controller looked on and told them how to do it. When they had caught all the fish, they had a lovely picnic supper of fish and chips. That was good, said the fat controller. But fish don't suit you, Thomas, so you mustn't do it again. No, sir, I won't, said Thomas sadly. Engines don't go fishing. It's too uncomfortable. 